I, I believe that healthcare um, is a fundamental right um, from a UK perspective because it is free at the point of delivery. It, I, I'm not challenged with some of the issues that other countries have of having to pay for, pay for care. Now, how I've managed to kind of keep my head above water is the fact that I think change is good and that um, often when people enter the healthcare system, whatever their profession, whether a doctor, a nurse, or an allied health profession, whatever it is, they see it at a particular point in time that they can relate to. I think the reason I've stayed in it is um, change is often good, not always, but actually if you see that change is actually trying to deliver a better outcome for patients, and that, um, the, that the patient that you are either treating, supporting, caring, whatever, could be a relative of yours that I somehow want to influence that we get the best possible care for, for that patient. I mean, I'm a nurse by background, so I, I, I've got a bias in, in the nursing field, but I, I don't think it is the only field that anyone should be considering. I think if anyone has got the ability to, to want to be with people through different stages of life, often some very, very defining stages, whether it's childbirth to death, who want to make an influence on that, then healthcare is the job for you. And whether you go in either as a nurse or a allied health professional um, or as a doctor, will really depend on, on how much energy and drive that you bring to this. I, I think you have, to have, you have to have compassion, you have to have the ability to listen. You've got to have empathy, and you've got to have a resilience to try and, and actually st also be slightly a couple of steps away from from what that person's feeling, so that you are sub that you are objective in ensuring that the care delivery is right, safe, proper, and timely. Um, whether I'm sympathetic and passionate um, um, enough for patients, I think, I think I am. Some people might have a different view because I think with time you become very resilient to what you see. I have worked in emergency uh, departments in some of um, very busy hospitals in London and I've seen some horrific scenes in my career. And, and actually you become galvanised. And there is also a risk that you can become too galvanized, that you become completely uh, disconnected. That's, that's a, of concern. And when people start to see that they need to review their careers, but actually not leave the profession, actually just realize that they're either burnt out and actually need to think of some, a, a different way of providing, providing care. And that may be either going into management, that might be going into leadership, that might be going into training. There are different ways of training, uh, of being part of the healthcare system, which isn't just about providing frontline care, but it's about actually leading care, training other carers, training other individuals. I thoroughly enjoy being at the patient's bedside, but I actually also know that I make a, a bigger difference away from the patient's bedside about taking the issues from the board to the ward um, and vice versa. So I think it's about, this, it's about individual skills and competencies. Some people are very passionate and will argue the case for change and argue the case why some change is not good. Some people will argue that um, and provide the fact that they are the best person beside the patient, working with the, other, with the patient, the patient's family, other carers and other health professionals, and that's absolutely fine. I think it's about people recognizing that it is okay to make changes in your career and leaving the health service is not necessary, particularly if you gotta get frustrated either because of the system, because of politics, because of money, but even because of interpersonal relationships in different working areas. People need to recognize they have all other options and I would really say don't leave, get some advice, speak to other people how do they overcome that and what options have they got, so especially if they believe in what they're doing.